I'm heading down to get some lumber for the uh, cat ramps I'm gonna put inside the house up on the top near the near the ceiling so they can walk around up there got another place to go and they like being up high so uh, heading down there to get that in a little Jeep right now should fit in here somehow it'll fit it sticks out the back some eight foot lumber Oh, looks like we got a reverse trike in front of me. <laughs> Some chick driving it, believe it or not. So, there you go. Pretty interesting. Fat tire in the back. Well, you can see how we got the board in there. Uh, just, it's an eight-foot board. This is a very small Jeep, but you can see they go all the way under, right under there, under the dash, uh, in that little cubby hole. It'll fit. So pretty much pretty much fit the whole damn thing in there in this little Jeep eight foot boards and if they're ten foot they don't stick out that much that's it they wouldn't stick out too much so you can fit you know you can fit quite a bit in there man so you know if you got a rack on the top you can fit plenty so there's a lot you can do with this little bullshit thing okay so we're back and uh, I'm gonna wind up I'll unload this and we're gonna paint it some uh, white elastomore roofing paint which would be strong stuff for that, you know, the cats walk on or something and won't wear that paint out easy. Well, on this board, all I did is uh, took a drill, putting these long screws in there, down in there, keep it nice and simple. Um, that's a fly. <laughs> and, you know, I drill them out first, then we put the, uh, you know, we drive the screw down in there, so. If I could do this one handed. Okay, we've got to drive it down a little more than that, but uh, you know, I was doing it one handed. But uh, now we're going to get out some, uh, get out the air compressor, the uh, the coarse spray gun, and uh, some white elastomer paint. I'm going to water it down. I'm going to reduce it a little bit of water so it sprays through the gun spray this thing down and uh, just put it up with brackets it'll be real easy one two three well I decided to use uh, instead of that white stuff uh, the roof polymer paint and drag out the air compressor I said let me just use this I got some uh, flood semi uh, transparent stain I'll use that because the cats walk on it it'll look like dingy if it's if you don't see it because it's high up it'll still look dirty if it's white you know so if it's brown, it'd be all right. So I did one coat. I'm gonna do another coat here um, and get the brackets up. And I don't know if I'll leave it brown because I'll probably paint inside with um, inside the house with uh, fireproof paint. There's a special uh, powder additive. Actually, I have it all on the ceilings already. Um, did it years ago, <clears throat> and uh, it works with the latex. I'll probably do a video on that. Probably a lot of people don't even know about that shit. You just use cheap latex. Uh, paint and there's a powder in it you put in it I think it's two bags for a gallon it makes it like um, class 3 fire rating or some shit like that I forgot what it is I did it on the ceilings already but uh, that's you know hey quickie man and it's got enough it's got enough width it's 10 inches it's got about three inch lip three and a half inches this is a four inch board so it's a half inch wide there so it's three and a half inches high you know, it's like they won't fall off the thing. You can walk right down here, no problem. You know, cat ain't gonna fall off of that. <laughs> okay, so I'm putting the other coat on here. Just gotta get the ends on here. And you know, like anything, you first wanna make it strong versus, uh, you know, weak. And um, you can always go back and put like molding on here and caulking or paint it a different color it's easy to do that shit later it's like you want it strong enough that you know you got a few 15 pound cats walking on the freaking thing it's not going to break which it should be plenty strong enough it should be plenty strong enough so anyway yeah actually if you add them up the three stooges they're uh mo curly and larry or whatever the fuck their names are or uh harpo you know grouch brothers whatever the hell it is you know uh, you'll probably all three of them will go up here, but it should be plenty strong. It should be plenty strong. Well, it's up there. 
I gotta throw the cat up there. <laughs> I gotta put some more bracing up there. I got some blocks of wood behind it, whereby it won't tilt out. Well, let's put Putin up there and see what the hell happens. But um, I don't think it's it's strong enough. But I want to make it overkill. Well, Putin's up there. He's testing it. Looks all right. Your little guy. You okay? Up there, meow meow. <laughs> you okay? You got a place to walk? Is that gonna fall down? Seems you know it's probably pretty strong. I'm gonna strengthen it up some more though. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going, huh? Where are we going? Where are we going? Huh? Where are we going? <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have him so he can walk around everywhere. Hope you don't freaking but don't fall down. I think it's alright though. It's I probably made it plenty strong enough already. Because like I said, there's blocks of wood behind it. And uh here's your little head. Right? Right guy. Right? What are you doing? What are you doing? You got some curious thing to walk around on. Anyway. Well, it's not quite done. I gotta go to. It's more of a pain in the ass to go to freaking stores than it is to put this shit up, to tell you the truth, because you need some screws, you need some bolts, your freaking. Your screwdriver's tip is worn out on your freaking drill, you know. And I keep got all like, these worn out tips on a drill, and I'm like, it's aggravating. But, um. I'm gonna put some more. I'm gonna put uh, other hinges that are even stronger than this, and you know, get the rest of the screws in there. But it should. It probably is all right. I don't think he doesn't seem like he's shaking it much or nothing. Here he goes. Ow! Got a place to run around. It's cat heaven here, man. Cat heaven. Right. Right. Ugh. Or little buddy. What I do for you guys, man? Mo, Larry, and Curly. That's you. Or the Marx Brothers or some shit. Or Cheech and Chung and Putin. Or whatever the hell you are, man. You guys are three strange cats. Well, anyway, you fucking guys are funny, man. Just you're my little buddies. We take care of you, man. All right? You're smarter and better than humans. That's all I gotta tell you. Cats are better people than humans. There you go. So we take care of them. I don't know if you can see, but he gives me the squint. That means like he's that squint, the squint of infection. He's like he knows I did something for him. He's like all happy. Now he's, he was giving me the squint. That's how they talk to you, man. They give you that squint, like their their eyes go slitty. That means oh, they realize something. <laughs> 